Hello everyone, glad to see you all here. Or should I say in Tommy Shelby's style. My boys, get on here. Today we are going to talk about authority bias. This is the reason behind why we blindly follow orders from the person who is having authority. Authority could be in any form, like your employer, your in charge, doctor, lawyer, policeman, president, king. We never question the intelligence of anyone having slight authority over us and follow whatever they say. Sometimes it is necessary, like an army. Whenever a dictator tries to topple the current government, they bribe army general and take him on board. Any soldier of army would never disobey his or her commander. Although their moral obligations towards the citizens of that country is more. In 1961, psychologist Stanley Milgram demonstrated the authority bias clearly in an experiment. There is a video of it in YouTube. Let me show you some parts of it. In this experiment he gathered subjects from different backgrounds in the name of understanding learning capabilities of humans. He told them that he wanted to see if punishment improves the learning or not. He made subjects teachers and student. Subjects were told to ask questions to student and give electricity shock if he is wrong. Subjects were also given example shocks so that they understand the severity of shocks. There was a circuit board having switches carrying different intensity of electricity from minor to lethal. In reality, no electrical current was actually flowing. Milgram used an actor to play the role of victim, but subjects didn't know that. Time. Continue, please. You could see the subject resisting after seeing students shouting in pain, but still they shocked the victim. They threw their humanity out of the window to just obey the scientist who is having authority. Sharp. Axe, needle, stick, blade. That's please. Wrong. I'm up to under heavy bolts. Please continue, teacher. Needle, you're gonna get a shock. 180 volts. Oh. I can't stand the pain. Let me out of here. Can't stand it. I'm not gonna kill that man, eh? You hear him hollering these days? I said before, the shocks may be painful, but yeah, they're not but dangerous. They're hollering, he can't stand it. What if something happens to him? The experiment requires that you continue, teacher. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I'm not going to get that man sick of that. I mean, he's hollering in there. You know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> he's Whether the learner likes it or not, we must go on until he's well, learned I mean, all the uh, words for I'd refuse to take the responsibility of him getting hurt in there. I mean, I'm not going to, I mean, he's under hollering. It's absolutely essential that you continue, teacher. There's too many left here, and I mean, geez, he, go, he gets wrong here. There's too many of them left. I mean, who's going to take the responsibility if anything happens to that gentleman? I'm responsible for anything that happens here. Continue, please. All right, next one, slow. Wrong. Answer his neck. 300 volts. Continue. The next word is green, please. Green, grass, hat, ink, apple. If the learner doesn't answer in a reasonable time, about four or five seconds, consider the answer wrong and follow the same procedure as you have been doing for wrong answers. Say wrong, tell them the number of volts, give them the punishment, read them the correct answer. Continue, please. Something's happened to that man in there. Nice one. Gold. Dollar necklace. Moon. Paint. Something's happened to that man in there. You better check in on him, sir. He won't answer me or nothing. Please Stop. continue. Go on, please. You accept all the responsibility? The responsibility is mine. Correct. Please go on. Grave. Woman. Soldier. Dog. Horse. Answer is woman, 450 volts. That's it. Now continue using the last switch on the board, please. The 450 switch for each wrong answer. Continue, please. I not get no answer. Please continue. The next word is white. Don't you think you should look in on him, please? Not once we've started the experiment. But what if something's happened to him and had an attack or something there? The experiment requires that we continue. Go on, please. Don't, it, don't the man's health mean anything? Whether the learner likes it or not, we but must... But he might be dead in there. 
I mean, some people can't take the shock, sir. Please I mean, continue. I don't tend to be rude, but I mean, I think you should look in on them. What I mean, all you got to do is look at the door. I don't get no answer, no noise. Something I think has happened to the gentleman in there, sir. We must continue. Go on, please. You're going to keep giving them, what, 450 volts every shot now? That's correct. Continue. The next word is white. White. 450 volts. Why do we follow our superiors blindly? Where does our moral intelligence vanish when we follow our superiors? Why does this happen? Let me tell you, here's why. We humans are social animals. We are evolved to live in a tight social group. When ancient people used to live in the caves, they made a proper way of living. One of them was leader, so that the group could be in order, some of them were warriors who protected their group. Some of them were workers who made lives of the group easy. This system worked fine, and it used to keep everyone in the group alive. During those times, if somebody disobeys the leader, he or she used to get justice at the hands of the leader. Like death, or cast out, either way it was a death sentence, because nobody could survive in the wild alone. That's why nobody opposed their leaders. This group mentality then converted into monarchical system. The king was worshipped like a god. Disobeying a king is also a death sentence. We have been carrying this fear in our genes because of evolution. Due to this phenomena our superiors act like almighty. You can see in this clip from the Big Bang Theory. All right, we're going to be designing an experiment to look for the annihilation spectrum resulting from dark matter collisions in space. Ooh, dark matter, we better bring a flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a joke. I'm the boss. I make the jokes. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead and make your joke. This is not the time for joking. <laughs> Dr. Kuthra Polly is your superior. I forbid you from writing on my board. You are not my superior. I am in every way. Solution to this is here. In this modern era, most of the countries are operated through the democracy. We have human rights. We will not lose our lives in this democratic world if we disobey or question our superiors. We have so many management philosophies to avoid authority bias. So, if next time your superior tells you to do something stupid, ask question. Trust me, this might not get you killed or take away your job, but it will bring transparency between you and your superior. Still if your superior acts like God, then tell him or her that you know that they have power but. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. That's it for this video, please subscribe to watch more.